<laughs> oh my god, I would have freaked out. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Hi everyone, I'm Kirk Warner. I'm joined today by Abby Levine and Abby Mitchell. Two Abbies, twice is nice. <laughs> twice is the best. Lucky today you. we are talking trail running. We are going to be talking about uphill running, downhill running, uh, and some tips for you to take out on the trail with you. So let's go ahead and dig into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so both Abby's run for Adidas, if you couldn't already realize. Um, both of them are trail runners. Uh, Abby Levine, Hi. what's your running background? I started running in high school and I ran division one in for track and cross country in college. Cool, and Abby Mitchell? I ran my first trail race when I was in fifth grade. And oh, then what? ran, Whoa. yeah, and then ran track and cross country all through college. There yeah. you go. So we're in good company today with both the Abbeys and they are going to be talking to us today about some of their favorite tips for uphill running and downhill running. The uphill running department will belong to Abby Levine today and the downhill department will uh, belong to Abby Mitchell. Got you enough... better remember that by the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, got enough Abbeys going on. Um, so we're going to start out today with the uphill running technique. Abby, are you ready? Yeah! We are joined with Abby Levine. Abby Levine, what are your top tips? How many did you get for us today? Three. I have three main tips on how to run uphill on trails. The first one is how to pace yourself. The second one is use your arms. And the third one is -na -na, embrace the power hike. Embrace the power hike. When you're learning how to be. <laughs> All right, people. So with pacing, there are two main things we want to think about. The first one is learning how to not burn all of your matches at once so that you can get to the top and still feel energized and ready to crush it on the downhill. And the second thing is if you come from a road background, you're probably really used to looking at your watch, checking your pace, throw that whole concept out the window on trails. You're running uphill, you're going on rocks. Everyone, it doesn't matter if you're the best runner in the world, Sometimes you're going to have some hills where you're running literally one hour per mile pace uphill, and that's cool. So what are the things that I could pay attention to that would infer me a little more information about my pace and what I should be doing? So listen to your breath. If you're gasping for air, probably means that you need to slow down a little bit. Also your heart rate, if you feel like your heart rate is through the roof, maybe tone it down a little bit unless you're almost to the very top. All right, so when I'm when I'm pacing up a hill, I want to be paying most attention to my breathing rate and my heart rate to kind of actually know a good kind of exertion for myself rather than my pace. Sweet. Tip number two, if I remember correctly, was using your arms. So what's that all about? So I find that you can get a lot of power and energy out of using your arms without actually expending that much energy yourself. So if you're running up a hill, think about really pumping your arms, engage your core, pump your arms, lean in slightly, and look up a little bit. Don't look totally up, but if you can stay in that strong position and really pump your arms, you're gonna get a lot of momentum going up the hill. Thinking about exaggerating your, your running form while going uphill means that you'll actually be doing it correctly. And our final tip for uphill running was... Embrace the power hike. Embrace the power hike. So what, what are we talking about when we talk about embracing the power hike? So as somebody that comes from a track and road background, Initially, the idea of walking up a hill was absolutely mortifying to me. <laughs> you know, like that was admitting defeat. However, power hiking is actually an incredibly strategic and useful tool in uphill running that actually enables you often to go a lot faster and to conserve energy so that you can go faster on the flats and on the descents. If the hill is really steep or it's rocky or too technical or whatever, we're going to power hike. Is there a 
better way to power hike than others? So my preferred way of power hiking is using my arms as much as possible, going back to tip two. But now instead of pumping our arms, we're going to be pressing down on our quads with our arms. Okay, so fully like leaning over and pushing into your quads. Exactly, yeah. Just using your arms as a little bit of extra power into your legs. Got Save it. your legs a little bit. Wonderful. Abby Levine, everyone. Yeah! All right, bonus tip, everybody. This is actually maybe the most important one. Strategically peeing. I like If I really have to pee in a really long race or on a run, I like to strategically time my pees so that I'm peeing. <laughs> I like to strategically time my pee breaks for when I'm dying going up a hill because then I get a break and it's justified and then I start running again and I feel fresh and also lighter and more energized and ready to go. Uphill running is done. The fun part is upon us. We are joined by Abby Mitchell now to talk about her favorite tips. Abby, what are your three tips today? So three things I've learned a lot over the years about downhill running um, I'm gonna share with you today are keeping your feet under your center of gravity, um, not hesitating, and quick feet. Okay, so we have three tips to go through today. We are going to talk about each of them in a little more detail. What was the first one? Yeah, so the first one I want to talk about is uh, keeping your feet under your center of gravity. Great. So one thing you hear a lot of people talk about with downhill running is leaning into it, which sounds easy, but I think a lot of times when you do that, you have a tendency to go from the hips, when really the most important part of leaning into the downhill comes below the hips. So a lot of times I'll find that I'll be overstriding or kicking my feet out into too big of steps. Okay, so when I am running down a technical trail, that might end up kind of looking like moving my feet quickly too, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, which brings me to my, my next Second point. Second point, which is? Quick feet. Quick feet. Yeah, so as the trail gets more technical, it's really important to just keep a quick cadence and, um, and move lightly over the terrain. Um, the bigger steps that you take when you're going hard and stepping forcefully, you're putting a lot of weight onto obstacles and that can often make it easier to roll an ankle or take a bad step. So by taking quick feet, it kind of allows you to kind of roll over difficult terrain a little bit more easily. So if I'm going through a technical section, I can almost kind of move my feet quickly over all the obstacles mm -hmm. rather than kind of slam into each of them, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It's a lot less jarring on your body. Got it. All right, so the quick feet was tip number two. Tip number three was going to be? Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate, yo. Don't hesitate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when we first start out downhill running, it's a kind of a scary thing. So our tendency is to kind of tighten up our, you know, our bodies and kind of just, you know, resist the terrain so much. And I think by just kind of embracing the fact that, yeah, you're probably going to fall. It's probably going to still happen to you even after you get better And it's going to be it. okay. And it's going to be okay. <laughs> All right. So we have our three tips from Miss Abby Mitchell. You're ready to run. Anything. So hopefully you guys uh, have a better transition into trail running with these tips. These are things that you can help, that should help you during your transition. I know probably a lot of you guys are coming from road running and are looking to dabble in trail running. We all transitioned at one point. None of us were born trail runners. So we all now live in Boulder and we just trail run because it's... We want to go play in the mountains. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you liked it, let us know by clicking the like button below. If you have any questions for me, Abby, or Abby, let us know <laughs> in the comments. Um, and if you want more cool content from us, make sure to subscribe to the Run Experience YouTube channel as well. Thank you again, Abby. Thank you again, Abby. Thanks, we will see you. Let's try a double high five. <laughs>